Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Today is the Sabbath day. So, so what, what is required of you on the Sabbath, my brother? Do you know? Well, that's why I said I believe it was in the Bible. Yeah. I believe every single word. Right. I make up my word. I do believe it. It's all the Sabbath. What do you mean by the make up my word? Well, can I read that Bible? Right? You want? No. You want? No. As a man. Okay, so can, can I prophesy with you this word? No. Oh, oh, right then. So we can do it. Amen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate He's saying that, okay, the Lord who God is a man. I can appreciate that. All right, all right. So now, as you've just taken off your hat, you've humbled yourself to the scriptures, right? Now, we're going to give you some more understanding about the Lord's section of commandments in the Bible about how to keep the Sabbath, all right? Leave that in Exodus 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. So the most high God said, remember. Why did he say remember? He said remember because we're going to forget in these last days, who out here is keeping the Sabbath? Who out here is keeping the Sabbath? No one's keeping the Sabbath. So the most high God is saying, remember the Sabbath. Read. Remember the Sabbath day Come on. to keep it holy. Keep it holy. You can separate from any other religion. I mean, any other um, day. Read. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. We have six days to do all what we need to do. Okay, go shopping, buy, sell, work, right? Gather our finances. We've got six days. Six whole days to do that. It's not hard, it's not a, a hard requirement, is it? It's not. Six days, right? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But the seventh, the seventh day is the Sabbath. This is the seventh day. This is the Sabbath of God, right? So so now he's saying that today we need to keep it holy, right? Then what? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on this Sabbath day, the Bible is commanding us not to do any work. Now, work, look around. Everybody's working. For you to be able to go into a shop means that someone has to work and serve you, right, on that day. Now look, who is keeping the Sabbath day? That's why it says remember. That's why we're in the condition that we're in, because we're not following God's commandments. Like I said, I remember we read in Amos that what? The law section of the commandments were only for us. Right? And that's why we get, it's only us that is going through what we're going through. You understand? It's only us that is getting um, 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 the judgment. You understand? It's only us because why? The law statue moments were only given to us. How special are you? How special do you feel that the most high God that created anything out of here is saying to you only that listen, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to keep them above all people. So we need to start keeping these commandments. And that's just, that's just a small thing that we need to do on one day, not work. How hard is that? We can be done. Six days shall thou labor and, and six, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So head up, we have six days to do our work and the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, okay? It's a separate day, you know? In it, thou shalt not do any work. So on the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day, today, we should be working. The so-called blacks, the Hispanics, the Native American Indians, we shouldn't be working on the Sabbath day. Okay? But well, we have to talk this, okay? 
We have to learn the truth according to the Bible and keep the commandments. That's why we stop more nationality. But this race of people that give the laws, commandments to keep. You get me, you understand? Okay? So the Sabbath day is a day that's holy. On the seventh day, the Sabbath today. You ready? Okay, so the Sabbath day, we should be working on the Sabbath day. So we have six days to work, Sunday to Friday, and then Saturday is the Sabbath day. Read that. Exodus 1, Sabbath day. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. To keep it holy, holy is separate, to separate it from other days. Okay, you know? Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So we spoke about that already. Your 95 should be on the Sabbath day. So all the shots right here according to the commandments to close the day. Shut down, okay? You know. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. So it says you, your household, as an Israel household, shouldn't be working on that day. You know? Thy man servants. Even your servants, your, your, your maids, your staff, if you have some, they should be the Sabbath day holy. Okay, you know? No, thy main servant. You know? Nor thy cattle. Uh -huh. Nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Even the other nations, when we, when, when, when we were in rulership, they didn't work on the Sabbath day. Okay? But now, the whole world is upside down because the rude Jews are not keeping the, the commandments in the Bible. Right. You know? For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, uh -huh. and rested the seventh day. So the Father set the example for us because he rested on the seventh day. Okay? So the Sabbath day is a day of rest. Get me on Nehemiah. Nehemiah is like 10 to 1 about um, not, not setting the Sabbath day. Okay? Because a lot of people are going shopping today. Today's the day we're going to have to do the shopping. Well, let's see what the Bible says. And sing about true Christians and how they should observe the Sabbath day. Read right? out the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, uh -huh. and verse 31. Come on. And if the people of the land bring where? So even in the land of our captivity, when we serve the other nations, brother, the Bible says, in the land of our captivity, when we serve the other nations, you know? And if the people of the land bring where? Or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So in the other nations, Outside of the Israelite nations, open their stores, their shops, selling you clothes, food, the supermarkets, groceries, etc. What should we do? That we would not buy it of them. We should buy it from them on the Sabbath day. If you say you're a Christian and you believe in God and you believe in the Bible and you keep the commandments, this day, every Saturday, you shouldn't be shopping. How about that? You have to believe in the Bible. Yeah. You know, yeah. And if the people of the land bring where? or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You see, because we like to support the other nations. Okay, we want to we, we wanna seek justice from them. But if you give us more commandments, you will be so solidarity with the most high. Because he said, even on the Sabbath day, when the other nations want to sell to you, he said, you should buy them on the Sabbath day. That's what a real Christian will do, according to the Bible. So on the Sabbath day, Okay, get me another one. Get me another one. Because some of the slides are called clean shave, be um, shaving your, your beard. Clean shaving. When I turn to the Bible, that's a uh, clean shave right there. That's right. Okay, so let's see what the Bible says about it. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So, as a real Christian, if you're a true believer in the Bible, and you say you're following Christ, Meaning of Christ, right? Because Christ said, For you do not be keep my commandment. That's in the Bible, right. in the New Testament. They shall not make boldness upon their head. You should not make boldness upon your head like Michael Jordan, like um, um, Tyrese. Tyrese and wherever. Your head should be, should, should be bold. Read that. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. And he says the Israelite man also should shave off his beard. When you say you're the queen, so you can really call that. You see, you're clean shaved. But according to the Bible, that's on the clean. That's true, like the world is upside down. Mm. How, about, how about that? The world is upside down. In this society, yes, but in this society, we call good evil and we call evil good. How about that? Whatever you want to try the Bible, 
in, 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 in the court of law. You found the Bible on the top. But what was that for the word of Bible says? How about that? Read that down. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20. What? So when you see a man that says he's a Christian, how should, how should his face look? Read that. And verse 5. Oh. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So a Christian man, he's from the Bible, he shouldn't make the boldness on his head. We just read that. Read that again. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their feet. That's why the Bible says you have to be born again because everything you have read is a lie. And when you come to learn the truth, it's going to shock you. But we have to change our ways and repent. Okay? You hear that, son? We have to change our ways and repent. That's right. Now the man should be born his beard looking like a man because your, your beard is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a bag of many tickets. Even the scholar said in, 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 in the Son of a Man, that was dictionary. Okay? Get me your... Um, get me... The true name of Christ. You know what Christ looks like according to the Bible? You know the true image of Christ according to the Bible? The true image of Christ. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you what this guy looks like. Get that. Let's see, according to the Bible, what is the depiction of Jesus Christ according to the Bible? You know? Let's read that. Because if we're Christians, we follow Christ, okay? So if we follow Christ, we have to know what he represented physically and what his doctrine was. But if you have a misrepresentation of Christ, Physical appearance, then if it, evidently you don't know where his doctrine was because you're being misled. Okay? Read that. The book of Revelation! The book of Revelation. Hey, brother, sister, we the book of Revelation, and we're going to reveal the true image of Christ according to the Bible. That's right. Read that. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? The Son of God. Okay? He was an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. We're, not, we're about to reveal what he looked like. Okay? Read that. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. So this depiction was given unto us to show unto the Israelites. Because according to the Bible, the servants of God are the Israelites. That's right. How about that? You cannot be a servant of God in the law of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. How about right. that? Read which must surely come to pass. Talk to the, talk to the point. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wood. First point is talking about the head and the beard of Christ. So the image of society is of this so-called blue-eyed, feminine looking um, Christ hair. But let's see what the Bible says. that again? His head and his hairs were white like one. He says his head, he didn't the hair on his head, they were white like wool, they were, they were, they were really touched up. This hair is not really, this is really hair, this is dumb hair. You see that? You see that again? His head and his hairs were white like wood, uh -huh. as white as snow. It was completely grey, you didn't see it was completely yellow, as in blood, it wasn't blood. It was grey, like that. Okay? So, when we read, when we read a lot of lies on the first sight this day. So, that thing, what a small part, I can listen to what I was saying. You hear that? His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow. So, he had woolly hair. And, he, you know, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were red because he drank wine. I can't just drink the first time as well. You know? And his feet light unto fire. And his feet, right now, so it's talking about the feet of Jesus Christ. Because back in the days, there was sandals, remember? So the color of your feet is the center of the, of the skin. It's common sense. It says it's it, it, it was like what? And his feet, like unto five brass. It says the seal of his feet was like his five brass. What color is brass? Sister, what color is brass? Sorry? What color is brass? I mean, brass. Yeah. It's like brown and Exactly. Yeah. It says that Christ's feet were like brass. What does that mean? His feet were like brass. Because what the back of the day, you know, Remember? So if his feet is like brass, and your skin on your feet is the same skin as the rest of the body, what's that saying about him? It was a what? It was a brown? It was a brown man. But let's see how brown it was. You know that? And his feet like unto five brass. Uh -huh. As if they burned. In a furnace. He said, I see, he burns in the furnace. He's talking to you, he says. Christ is in the furnace, he's talking to you. You see that? But our people have been restored, have been misguided. 
You don't know what the truth of the Bible is saying. You see what I'm saying? It's, so so, so we're waking up now. That's yeah, we are waking up. Since, what, what's the sign of waking up? We need to wake up. This is the time now. Exactly. For us to wake this, up. this is the time for us to wake up. Because we see the oppression. Yeah. Yeah. Scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission, we out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.